Hello everybody and welcome to my new series, Custom Showcase, where I'll be going into custom Tommy and Track Master engines I've made, and I try not to ramble too much. I may cover other customs, but motorized stuff is where I'm mostly interested right now. Unless I get a really popular request on a custom to talk about, like I don't know, fucking Cranny the Chugger. <laughs> I've decided to make this series because as you've seen, my splurge of recent content has been a lot of 16. It happened since near the end of season 3 where I just started to randomly make so many episodes in a week. But this isn't about that. This series is about my customs. Today we'll be talking about one of my favourites, Scallop the Class 46. Scallop was made with my old childhood diesel 10. A Boko chassis and uses a Hyper Dash 3 motor by Tamiya for extra speed and pulling power. But that chassis belongs to Leyland, but I swapped the chassis around for whatever I need them for as I got the spare Boko chassis from a friend who sent me his splodge for free. And some extra bits too. Scallop was originally Gareth, but my Dumb ADHD as well as a high speed diesel locomotive that wasn't characterized. I do plan to buy some Spencer coaches and customize them to be either Mark 1 coaches or just something else because I just need more coaches. Scallop was built by cutting both nose ends of the D10 body and measuring them to see how long does the body need to be on the chassis. Then I'd cut some thick card to that length and glued it as a support. You could make it longer to make it accurate to whatever diesel you're building, like a class 40, but then again, I'm hoping player out and discontinue diesel 10 or I'm buggered. Then after gluing my supports, I fill in the gaps of clay. You could use model filler or epoxy putty, which would be a better source to use, but I'm not but I'm just using what I have at hand. Of course, with the gap in his head from Pinchy, you fill it with whatever you have and shape it. After you've cut off Pinchy's arm and made a new roof, I cut Pinchy off by holding my saw on the side and cutting along until he's off. I would have filled it, uh, I would have filed it down, but then it takes longer and my files are blunt. But it would have been better. We could still patch up the roof with. We've panels made of paper and little details along the roof like the exhaust and fan. Please don't judge me on not knowing diesel engine parts, I just like the sound and looks of them. For windows, I trimmed along some paper and got rid of the middle support of D10's front and put two of them there. Along the side, I cut some paper for the vents and air intake after removing the D10 vents. Then after that, I made a new front end with card and made it look less flat with clay again. Now the clay does give the body some weight, so if your motor is really tired out, I think the Hyper Dash and a good battery would help performance. Scallop has little details like his indicators and handrails. His indicators were made from cut out cardstock from a hole puncher. His buffers are the same too, and use cotton bud stems for the shanks. The handrails are wire with plastic coating on them. They're usually found as twisty ties. Also, his little lights are 1mm to 2mm gems. After that, I painted him in humble acrylic colours. Number 20 for his livery, number 69 and 154 for the yellow ends, number 238 for his lining and buffer beams, number 41 for number and logo, number 32 for the roof and number 20... <sighs> number 247 for the windows, and number 85 for other black details and the dirty black wash. These are all humble colours. His buffers are silver ink from a paint pen. Now for some backstory. Scallop is a class 46 diesel locomotive that is privately owned. He isn't a living engine, but his owner painted a little smile because of his indicator disc lamp things look like his eyes. He's usually pulling mainline express goods on modern rails, even if that's hard to believe. Most of the time you'll see the Crimson Loco pulling his consist of specially built coaches on heritage rails named the Raccoon Roller. 
Scallop is painted crimson with red buffer beams, some red lining across his chassis, and a cream painted BR logo with his nameplate sitting next to it. He's numbered 01, but that isn't his original running number. Nobody knows what Scallop's original number is. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think in the comments about these videos. Do you like them? Who do you want to see next? Let me know. That's all for me for now. I'll see you in the next video.